Uh, so yeah, I was training back in uh, in the early days, and then we had to have multiple gyms. There was no MMA gym, so it was like a boxing gym, kickboxing gym, uh, BJJ gym, and the boxing gym I trained at was called Main Street Gym downtown. Me and Airborne Paul Gardner, oh, and we guy. we would go train at this boxing gym downtown, and it was called Main Street Gym downtown Houston. And actually, Vander Holyfield, Reggie Johnson, uh, Frank Tate, all these guys would come in um, and train there sometimes, and. The big star of the gym, the trainer the most, like Reggie Johnson, I think, was the biggest star. And he had his nice car. And, you know, anyway, so the whole time the, the training was going on, it was all like Tupac playing, a lot of Tupac. He was like probably the most common played uh, artist. Well, he's the best rapper of all time. Back then, yeah, back then it was, it was like 97, you know. And so that's all I heard, Tupac. And I was like the, I mean, they would like, we were, we were just, me and Airborne were just on the side, like trying to learn what we could and like, you know, they didn't give us much attention and they would let us come in and spar and they just beat the crap out of us. And like, we were just those guys, you know, trying yeah. to trying to fit into a gym we didn't fit in, um, but we were there every day. And so listening to uh, those songs, Ambitions of a Writer is the most common one that I remember the most. So when I got into UFC, that became my song to walk out to because that brought me back to that time when I was like training at Main Street Gym and I was like just dreaming of being somebody because I was like nobody at that gym. I was like beyond nobody. I mean, like right. I was literally like less than nobody at that gym. And guys would come up in their, I guess they had Escalades back then, but it was like these real nice cars and they had big names and they had respect. They had like entourages when they came in and people to do stuff for them and go get their water and go do the, wrap their hands and stuff. And I just remember thinking like, man, I want to be like that one day. I want to have like respect and people know who I was and everything. So when I heard that, when I hear that song, when you know, and when I heard that song, when I walked out for my fights, it motivated me and brought me back to like those days. And so then when I'm walking out at Staples Center in front of, you know, 20,000 people and it's a huge fight, you know, maybe I, when I fought my main event fight, my co-main event fight, these huge fights in the UFC and there's millions of people watching on pay-per-view, you know, and I'm, I'm walking out to the same song that I was listening to when I was that little kid in the gym, wishing I, you know, could have made it. it. It was motivating for me and it brought me back in a, to a peaceful place and a motivated uh, you know, brought me that motivated desire to go out there and 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 achieve what I dreamed of achieving, and and realizing where I'm at compared to where I was, and like I should enjoy this moment and like go grab it because that exact moment when I heard that song when I walked out at like Staples Center or Mandalay Bay or MGM, that was way beyond what I ever dreamed would have happened. So it made me appreciate that moment a lot more.